What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another credit card video. In this one, I wanna take you through what's in my wallet. Um, I didn't do a what's in my wallet this month, like earlier this month, and I felt as though I needed to do one because I had some changes that happened. While I had uh, a lot of cards in there to kind of uh, you know look at different types of spend, whether it was groceries or wholesale uh, clubs or, or something you know, other, right? Gas or something else. Um, I simplified things this month because I ran into a card that now offers me um, basically 4% back for what I'm getting. Now, it's a little bit less. I think it's like 3.75% for me right now, but um, it's 4% as of this month, and it makes sense that I'm going to be able to gain 4% over 3% with the autograph card or 3% uh, with something else. Now, when it comes to um, you know 5% categories, that's something that we can we can um, explore as the months come on, as we have the new year that comes on. But this month, I really don't have a, a need for some of those cards. But let's talk about the cards that I do have in my wallet, why I have them in my wallet, and hopefully you guys gain some sort of benefit, some sort of um, just information from this video that could help you out in putting cards in your wallet. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. If you guys want to uh, follow me on Rumble, make sure you follow me on Rumble. That link should be at the top of the description. Uh, but let's talk about this right here. First, let's get into the wallet. I just recently got this wallet, which is you know kind of like an army green buffway wallet. Um, this is a great wallet. I, I love the the look of these. I love the feel of them. They're very, very thin. Um, you're not really worried about having any type of bulky wallet in your back pocket or your front pocket. This is something that you can put in your front pocket and feel you know great about it. And honestly, what what could be a curse about it is the fact that you can't feel it at times. You you know it's there, but you can't feel it at times. So I have to always check to make sure that you know I didn't get pickpocketed or something, especially in like crowded areas, because I can't feel my wallet there at all times. So uh, that's something that's like a kind of a blessing and a curse. But it is a really, really good wallet. If you want to check out this wallet, I'll have the link down below. I tried to reach out to them for a sponsored video, but you know, didn't really get um, many bites. I did talk to them about it. They wanted to know about the channel and everything, but you know, this channel is not really that big compared to my my main channel. But uh, yeah, I reached out to them for a sponsorship, didn't really get anything. So if you guys want to benefit me in a way as I see this wallet, feel free, or as you get this wallet, feel free to go and use my Amazon link down below. You know, I get a kickback from that, just a small kickback as you do, uh, you know, buy this wallet. But it is a really, really good wallet. Like, I'm not just saying this just for the referral at all or just for the affiliate link. I'm saying this because it's a really thin wallet and I've had five of these so far. So even though this is how, this tells you how good it is, right? I reached out to them for a sponsorship and didn't get anything. And still, um, I'm talking about this wallet. So, uh, yeah, definitely go ahead and check it out. But let's get into the contents, uh, context, contents, what's inside the wallet, right? <laughs> let's go into um, the wallet here. So let's start with uh, something that you guys don't need to see, which is my ID, right? I have my ID in the wallet. It makes sense for me to have my ID in the wallet since it is brand new. This is kind of sticky. Um, so let me go ahead and put that over here. Um, but, you know, you should carry around your ID, carry around your, uh, your driver's license and everything there. Now, I do also carry around my debit card, which is something that if I have any type of like frivolous spending, you know, I will carry around my debit card and make sure that I am, uh, you know, not spending crazy on credit cards because sometimes I get caught up spending a lot on credit cards and I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to make sure it is uh, more of a debit situation and I'm using the money that I have. Um, so another card that I do carry around is my other debit card. So I have multiple banks and I have another debit card here that I I carry around as well just in case I want to use a different um a different amount like say if I have something like for for this bank account it's it's not for bills not no bills ever run through it so it's always for like extra stuff. If we have some sort of large purchase and we want to use cash, we'll use the cash that we have in reserve that's over here um, in this bank account. So I will carry around a second debit card just in case. And honestly, 
I carry around a third debit card, but this is the card that I actually get a larger percent uh, back from. So the um, crypto.com Jade Green uh, Visa card, this card uh, gets me 3.75%. Um, and the reason why it gets me 3.75%, it gives a standard 2%, but they also have a you know, rewards plus program where if you spend a certain amount under crypto.com and you hold a certain amount of CRO, which I do, um, you get a, a certain level. And right now I'm at an extra uh, 1.75% uh, and I get a uh, 3.75%, I believe, or it might be 4% at this point. I think I did level up. So I think it might be 4%, but basically it's way more than what I get with um, any other card that I do have besides like the 5% cards like Discover or um, the Chase Freedom Flex or anything like that. But this card is actually a debit card. So I have to, I have to fill it up. Um, I have to fill it up every, every month or fill it up multiple times a month with usually I'll use like the ally, uh, the ally card. So my other, uh, bank card, I will use that or use my bank account to fund my crypto.com visa card so that I'm still using cash overall. So sometimes you'll see me that I will use ally depending on how much I feel like I have in my crypto.com debit card. But if I don't have any right away, then I, I don't make that you know, I don't make that transfer right away. So I have to make sure I, I make that decision on the fly and I just don't get any percentage back at that point. But typically I'm getting percentages back. Um, so right now I'm, I'm holding three debit cards, which kind of is op adopting the Dave Ramsey method. Um, and if, you know, we end up seeing a benefit from like, say the Chase Freedom card, Chase Freedom Flex card, or the Discover It card, I will use those cards as well. But if I'm getting a standard 2% with the, um, jade green card and then it could be upgraded to a level of five percent of on every purchase that's a no-brainer so and then uh the last card that i do have i believe this is the last card i might have other things that are in my wallet is the um american express blue cash uh preferred card this is a card that i've um i've used for a while and it's kind of taken over for my gold card my gold card was all about the grocery spending and also about, you know, eating out at different uh, restaurants, but we don't really eat out as much anymore. We do from, uh, from time to time, especially like date nights and stuff, but um, we can get benefits from the um, crypto.com visa card as well by being able to get 4% um, on that. So um, typically I'm just using that for the grocery spend as well as the streaming services, but now the crypto.com card has um, it free months, uh, free six months, the first six months of uh, Netflix, the first six months of Spotify, um, as you do stake a certain amount with the card. I like the cards. I already stake a certain amount. I love getting the benefits and I love holding CRO. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. It is expensive. If you are a person that's not in a cryptocurrency, but you want 4%. Um, it's $4,000 in order to lock up. Now you get that money back and it's also an investment, so it could grow, but it's $4,000 to lock up, which means it's really expensive for a lot of people to have that card as well as making trades consistently on crypto.com. Now, some other things that I do have in my wallet, you know, I have my Costco uh, membership card, which I think we're going to be moving to Sam's club, but I'm not 100% sure if we are, um, I I like all the deals that I've been getting from Costco. And then uh, I have my insurance cards and my insurance cards here. And I also have $5. So that's basically everything that I have in my wallet. You're going to see how thin this wallet actually is. If you guys want to, again, get this wallet, the Buffway wallet, feel free to um, you know check this out. The link will be in the description. But um, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Let me know what you think about this. If you gain any type of benefits from this, this definitely is a complete change up from what I had the month before where I was heavily on credit cards. And now I'm really just utilizing one credit card and everything else seems to be debit cards. Now that may change as months go on and we have uh, different spending, different categories that we have, of course. But right now it's mainly been hovering around debit and uh, just like one credit card. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.